A grand celebration headlined by China's most high profile of guests. President Xi Jinping visited the southern city of Shenzhen to mark 40 years since it was established as a special economic zone. She lauded the Shenzhen success story. Back in 1980, it was just a sleepy backwater when the ruling Communist Party designated it the first of five special economic zones. Fast forward to today, it's a technology and innovation hub that's home to some of the biggest companies in the world. The sprawling metropolis has attracted millions of workers from around the country. In his speech, Xi designated Shenzhen as the driving force for his grand vision to turn what is known as the Greater Bay Area into a powerhouse for technology and finance that can rival California's Silicon Valley by 2035. But that has sparked concerns among some in Hong Kong that the former British colony, which once provided the financial firepower for Greater Bay Area development, is now being sidelined by China's national development plans. Here's why. During his 50-minute speech, Xi made no mention of the role Hong Kong entrepreneurs played in Shenzhen's development soon after it became a special economic zone. Many Hong Kongers moved their companies over the border to Shenzhen, providing much-needed investment and technical know-how. It's a fact that Chinese state media has recently downplayed or flat-out ignored in stories recounting Shenzhen's development. The size of Shenzhen's economy surpassed that of Hong Kong's for the first time in 2018, an indication that the long-time financial hub of southern China was being outpaced by its neighbor to the north. Hong Kong lawmaker Alice Mack from the Beijing Loyalist Federation of Trade Unions told The Post that she thinks Xi's emphasis on Shenzhen was a message to Hong Kongers about where their priorities should be. She described Xi's remarks as a bit of friendly advice from the president. Mack said Hong Kong needs to be very alert about losing its competitive edge, leaving the city behind Shenzhen. We need to focus more on economic development and other aspects of the city, she said. Unlike in the past year, where we have spent so much time on never-ending political arguments and disputes. Other observers say Hong Kong's image as an international financial center may have been tarnished by its year of violent anti-government protests, which have raised questions about stability in the city. Recent sanctions placed on Hong Kong by the US and other Western countries have also challenged Hong Kong's role in international finance. Professor Lao Siu Kai, a senior Hong Kong advisor to Beijing with the semi-official Chinese Association of Hong Kong and Macau Studies, said the city had been the bridge between East and West. But now, with the suppression of the US and the West, he said, China needs to adjust its strategy and turn its attention to its domestic market. But not everyone is writing off Hong Kong's role in regional and national development. Guo Wanda from the China Development Institute, a Shenzhen-based think tank, says people should not read too much into Xi's speech. If Hong Kong's contribution to Shenzhen's development was mentioned, he pointed out, would there then be a need to talk about the role played by Guangzhou and Shanghai? Shenzhen is a financial center serving the mainland, while Hong Kong is an international financial center, Guo said, adding that Hong Kong's strengths can't be matched by Shenzhen. And others point out that while Shenzhen is the place for tech companies to grow, Hong Kong is where they internationalize. The Shenzhen market has been important for startups to raise capital, said Chan Ka Kung, Hong Kong's former secretary for financial services and the treasury. When they grow into sizable businesses, Hong Kong still plays a pivotal role for listing and trading. Going back to Xi's speech, there doesn't seem to be consensus as to whether he deliberately meant to snub Hong Kong. 
but his casting of Shenzhen as the star of his Greater Bay Area development plan leaves many wondering if Hong Kong will also play a part, and if so, how big that role will be.